honestly for inspiration. And uh, yesterday was a seminar by Mr. Nowari, CEO of Publicis Group. What he says was very interesting. If you don't lead change, change will lead you. And that really exactly sums up the situation that the, uh, the advertising industry is in right now. And, and if you come, can as well as Spikes, it's full of seminars. I don't know how to pack all the seminars in the, the two and a half days. It's amazing. Um, but the seminars cover different fields, all these different fields, but there are fundamental aspects that you can pick up. You know, tech, uh, technology change, think people, um, just keep doing it and make it happen. Um, if, and if you don't come here, you don't really, you know, get the, uh, the the full message. And it's always better to get come here because you can share different thoughts and ideas with the people in your industry. So uh, it's the work naturally to see, but it's also trying to um, to gain knowledge and make it yours. My uh, seminar was about people experts, and the idea is we are an expert in some sort. I'm from the creative uh, field, so I should have some uh, creative expertise. And you know, whether you're a planner, a media person, account executive, you have your own expertise. But because there's a massive change in the uh, society that's happening, giving more power to people, uh, like the revolution that's uh, happened in uh, Egypt, Libya, and uh, Algeria, and also the, uh, the progress of uh, social media, it's really people who's having more power and they could be content provider themselves or even media. So you really need to be thinking, uh, speaking, and being on the side of people. So people ex being a people expert is really, really important and it adds a whole new dimension to the expertise that you have uh, today from an industry background. But the actual people, your audience of the campaign, you know, uh, advertising com uh, communication campaign, don't, don't don't really care. You know, if you're from an advertising background or creative background or media background, they want to see what they want to see. So you really have to be a people expert. Naturally, they are the best guys though, because um, young students or young guys trying to enter uh, advertising, they are actually on the side with people. They themselves are people. Once you're in the industry, you start becoming industry experts. <laughs> so they, it's. I think the best thing is, I mean, keep your, um, for those you know, young guys, keep keep what they're what they think is important now, very fresh. And as they learn, they, I'm sure they'll start to become industry experts. But they should never forget about thinking, of, about the world from their point of view of being a person themselves. So rather than calling our target audience consumers, never call them consumers because like imagine, I don't want to be called consumer. You know, you consume our product. You know, I'm not asked to do that. I buy because I want to, because I'm leading my own life and I'm more proactive. So um, I think they're in a good uh, position to actually you know, be, one, be, be people expert. Don't think about industry speed or um, community speed, government speed, um, excuse speed. You know, we, ha we can't make this happen because this is how things are done in the industry. Never say that. Think people speed. And I saw some of the work um, that was shortlisted. We actually had a turnaround of 48 hours. They did some uh, web campaign because, and they did that on the go. And some were just turned out in 48 hours. And that's people speed. That's not industry speed. So I think that's a wonderful thing. And uh, also another thing is uh, go beyond people's expectation. It's a surprise for people. And that's where your creative sort of talent comes in. But keep thinking that. Try to give people some surprise element. That's an interesting question. 18, what was I doing, first of all, when I was 18? I, was, I didn't even know that uh, there was an industry called advertising industry. I didn't, I mean, never even thought about the fact that advertising was an industry as an 18-year-old. I saw ads, but I never thought there were actually a huge, I mean, a huge business like this behind it. 18, I was playing tennis, but you know what? If I could revisit myself, and if, well, let's say if I'm an 18-year-old now, I mean, imagine the potential, there's so much potential, and I think it's never too late, but if it's the te technology uh, that's really, really driving us forward, 
um, as Benjamin and Jeff Benjamin was saying today from Chris and Porter, I mean, get into it. You can't come up with a Twitter idea if you're not tweeting. So as an 18 year old, I would just like use everything I've got to uh, enjoy now, this moment.